we have to understand that sins are divided into minor sins and major sins. As we stated earlier, the statement of Allah the Exalted, which means if you avoid the great sins which you are forbidden to do, we shall remit from you your small sins and admit you to a noble entrance. And Allah the Exalted says, and he, and he has made disbelief, wickedness and disobedience, meaning to Allah, hateful to you. So Allah made him three categories. Three categories. Disbelief, wickedness and disobedience. Also a hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu an, where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the five daily prayers, the Friday to Friday, Ramadan to Ramadan, expiate the sins committed between them as long as major sins are avoided. So what are major sins? Any sin in which Allah has set a punishment for it in the dunya, or a punishment for it in the hereafter, or the iman of the servant is negated if he commits it, or he receives the curse of Allah if he commits it. These are the major sins. A sin that is accompanied with it, a punishment in the dunya, like theft, or a punishment in the hereafter, a warning against them in the hereafter, or negating of one is iman, if he commits it, or receiving the curse of Allah. So the major sins are two types. First type, is which is a major sin that the Prophet ﷺ declared in a hadith, it's a major sin, or it's a grave sin, or is the gravest of grave, great major sins, or it's a great sin or a destroyer. So any hadith, the Prophet ﷺ says it's a major sin or the gravest of major sin or it's a great sin or a destroyer. These are major sins. The second type where the Prophet ﷺ either mentioned, may the curse of Allah be upon someone, meaning he mentions Allah's curse or severe punishment or Allah's anger. Or Allah's anger. These are also major sins. The first type, hadith of Rasulullah ﷺ, Shall I not inform you about the gravest of major sins? Shall I not inform you about the gravest of major sins? Shall I not inform you, inform you about the gravest of major sins? The companion said, yes, O Messenger of Allah. He said to associate partners with Allah and to disobey your parents. When the Prophet ﷺ was reclining, he sat down and he said, and be aware of false speech and false testimony. And false speech and false testimony. Also another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ was asked by a man, which sin is the greatest sin to Allah? He ﷺ said, you associate partners or rivals or equals with Allah and Allah alone created you. So the man said, indeed, this is grave. Then what? The Prophet ﷺ then said, you kill your child out of fear that he might eat with you, meaning out of fear of poverty. The Prophet ﷺ, the man asked, and what? The Prophet ﷺ said, you commit zina, meaning illegal sexual intercourse, with your neighbor's wife. Then Allah the Exalted revealed the ayat in Surah Al-Furqan, where Allah says, and those who invoke not any other gods along with Allah, nor kill such life as Allah has forbidden except for just cause, nor commit illegal sexual intercourse. And whoever does so shall receive the punishment. The punishment will be doubled to him on the day of resurrection, and he will abide therein in disgrace. Prophet Sallallahu also said, from the major sins, a man curses his, his parents. He Sallallahu Alaihi was asked, and would a man ever curse his parents? He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, yes. He curses another man, his father, so in return he curses his father. Or he speaks ill against another man, his mother, so in return he speaks ill against his mother. Uh, the curse of Allah may descend upon he who commits that sin, meaning a sin mentioned in hadith, or the anger of Allah, or severe, severe punishment. Hadith Abi Dhar, an example. Where the Prophet وسلم, said three times of people, Allah will not speak to on the Day of Judgment, Allah will not look at, and Allah will not purify them of their sins, and for them is a severe punishment. The Prophet وسلم, said that three times. Three times he said what? والسلام, he said three times of people, Allah will not speak to on the Day of Judgment, Allah will not look at, and Allah will not purify them of their sins, and for them there is a severe punishment. Meaning Allah will not speak to them the talk of satisfaction. So, uh, Abi Dhar said, O Messenger of Allah, may they be ruined and, lose, and, uh, and lost. Who are they? The Prophet ﷺ said, He who has his garment below his ankles. هَلْ إِسْتَثْنَى أَحَدِ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ لَمْ صَحْ مَا إِسْتَثْنَى مَا قَالْ إِلَّا مَا لَمْ يَفْعَلْهَا مُتَكَبِّرًا مَا إِسْتَثْنَى 
The Prophet Sallallahu said, he who has his garment below his ankle, he who gives and brags or does favors and brags, the one who does not give and brags or does not give anything but brags about it, and the one who sells his commodities by swearing by Allah, lying. These three types of people Allah will not talk to on the Day of Judgment, Allah will not look at and Allah will not purify them of their sins and they will have a, a painful punishment. The one who has his garment below his ankles, the Prophet did not make exceptions. He did not say, unless you have it out of, uh, you, uh, only if you have it out of kib. No, he said, if you have it, then it's there. And he who, any favor he does, he brags about it. And the one who sells his commodities or his service by, sell, by swearing by Allah falsely. Also in uh, two Sahih, Hadith Hudayfa radiallahu anhu said, I heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, he who walks spread rumors among the people. The one who spreads rumors or, or just spreads the conversation from one person to another will not enter Jannah and Namam. You tell him a conversation, he goes to someone and be like, Abdul Qadir said that, I heard him. I don't want you guys to have issues. So I, I think he, you know, he didn't mean it, but he said that. See, that's in Namam. The Prophet ﷺ passed by one of them in the graves while he's being punished for that account. That's Allah. See, these are major sins.